Empire. Welcome to Rudiments 101. Flam Ascents. This time we're going to work on our Flam Ascents. And it's going to be part two. That's what we're going to do today. We're going to lay it down like that. Because that's how we lay it down. I know I've been letting my hair go. I've been trying to get it long and stuff. Because I think it looks just like this. And that's what I think. Okay. So anyway. If you've already seen my video. Of the Flam Ascent. Now I'm going to tell you how to play your Flam Ascent better. Alright. So it's going to go something like this. My hair is crushing my face. I can't stand it. I can't stand it. But it's what, it's what I got to do. Okay. Now these are the Flam Ascents. As you remember. A Flam Tap Tap and a Flam Tap Tap. Now most of you I know have been creeping me because I see you creeping. I'm doing, I, got, I, got, I got the feels of the technological stuff. So I see what you creeping and that's okay. Long as you subscribe, I don't care. Alright? So when you play your flame assets, that being said, when you play your flame assets, my computer going on. Hold on, I got to see my computer over here. Got my face on it. Be with my stuff all done up. When you play your flame accent and you practice it and you want to play better, you need to practice it. Okay? When you practice it, you get better at it. And when you practice it, you need to practice it right. And this is how you practice it and practice it right. First, you got to make sure you play your flam correct. For you beginners out there, you got to keep your your tap down. The little note, the little baby note, little grace note they call it. Like I'm saying grace. I say grace, then I eat. 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 And I try not to hit my stick. And don't be so tight when you're doing it. Don't be all like this. Loosen it up a little bit. Like that. Then you throw them other two in there. The other two notes and make it a little more like. Then, as you get times, and as you get better with it, you speed it up. Now remember, just because it's got an accent on the top, at the beginning, it's not like... It's just an accent. And the accent is in relationships to the, the lowest notes. If all the lowest notes is like this, your accents really need to only be like this. Not like this. You see, if your lower notes are like this, then your, your flam, accented flams needs to be a little more like this. Ready? You understand? It's all in relationships to each other. Okay? Now, I think, just by what I just said, I think... You're going to practice some more. I'm thinking that. Okay. Now, if you notice, I got my shirts on. Shoes lights. That's right. That's my beliefs. That's my beliefs. And it's not what you think. What I'm thinking is, this is the shirt representing the greatest pop band of all time. Wham. That's right. That's right, I said it. That's right, I said it. Because it's the best pop band of all time. You don't know what Wham is? It helped me with my flame accents way back. Long ago, I'm not saying how long ago, but this is how it is. You go to them, just you look up Choose Life, you look up Whams, you look up their songs, wakes me up before you go goes. Okay? That's what I used to practice to. It had a faster tempo, and I would play that song, and I would play Flame Accents during the whole song. The tempo of the song was something like this. Right? If you're just playing with the beat, right? It's like this. But hey, it's a double up. And I would play it for the whole song. That way I knew that my flame accents were good. And that's how I got better at them. I would play it for whole songs. 
And then once I could play it for the whole songs, I knew I was cool. And then sometimes I would play it for the whole songs and repeat and play it for the whole songs and repeat and play it for the whole songs. Now, I know some of you be hating on me right now because I can do this. You keep drinking that Haiti Raid, girl and boy, because you still can't do this. You know it. You be all up in my business, be creeping me and stuff, but that's all right. As long as you get better, that's all I care about. Okay? Now, you could make up things to help you. And I approve of this. I say play some flam accents with some, no, some flam, yes, some flam accents with some flam taps like this. That way, you practice in two things at the same time like this. Then you switch it to the left side. Then as you get better with it, you extend how many flam accents you play, and you extend how many flam taps you play. Like say four and four, like this. You know what the keys to playing all this is? I'm telling you, it's strength. It's strength in your hands. And it's mostly strength in the pinky. It's pinky strength is what it is. Let me show you this. Let me show you. Look at this. Look at this right here. I'm going to give you a close-up. It's going to be rare. It, watch this. Watch this. Watch it. You see that? You see that? That's called pinky bicep. That's what that is. That's a pinky bicep. Pinky bicep. Pinky bicep is the key to it all. I said it right here. I said it first. I said it first. It's the gospel. I have said it. It's the first. So, the only way to get better at your flame accents is to play them and play them medium and play them a little more medium and play them a little more medium under that till you get to the maximus mediums, which, which is faster. Now would be a good time to tell you that you need to go over to some of the videos that talk about the motor stroke. That motor stroke is that when they do this, this whipping stuff, this kind of stuff, where you be like whip, and you whip. Because when you play flamesses real tight, like this, it's not as good as this. Some looseness in it, some looseness in it. You understand what I'm telling you? You gotta understand that's what I'm saying. And all I'm saying is basically on this whole thing is you gotta do it over and 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 over until you get tired of playing it over. Then when you get done with that, you need to go to play it over and over and over. And over, I just really love the way my hair is looking when I do this. Even though it's a mess, it is really fabulous. Especially since I got pinky strength. While well, y'all creeping me, okay? Now listen, once you start getting a bit bored, what you need to do is you need to make it harder to back yourself back up, okay? Now with a flame accent, my hair really itches my nose. I've got to say. The way to get a flame accent and make it harder is to move the accent. Like, the accent is on the first note. Move the accent to the second note, like this. Then try to play that faster. Then, if you get comfortable with that, Move the accent to the third note, like this. Then you get more comfortables with it, play it like this. Then maybe you just want to move the flam. Keep the accent on the first note and move the flam, like this.
when you get more comfortable, play a little faster. How's that go? Oh. I had a couple flat flams, that's okay. And do the same system. Move the flam to the end. To the flame accent. And it seemed easy as pie. So that's just a few little tips put in a long video, hoping y'all watch it. Showing you my pinky strength, my pinky bicep. That's the key to it all, pinky bicep. Pinky bicep is what it's all about. Now I got to go get my hair all beautiful because I'm going to the club. And my puppy is acting all crazy. I don't know why. Let me show you. Give me a puppy. This is the puppy. And the puppy really likes my ow, 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 ow. Don't eat that. That's real hurt. That's real hurt. You don't eat real hurt. But ow, ow, ow. Okay. So keep practicing. Keep practicing your fan accent. Practice them along with a song you like. It might be Lady Gaga or something, but it's got to be something up tempo to keep you challenged. Okay? So, we will talk to you next time on Rudiments 101. And remember, keep practicing. It's just drums.